Hi, I'm Diane McGarry. Thank you for joining us today for the January Arts Saturday performance featuring pianist, composer, Ari Lori. Ari Lori has played piano since childhood. He plays mostly by ear, improvising as the music progresses. He is a composer and performer. Before moving to Boston in 2010, he produced and performed musical programs in his native San Francisco Bay Area. He specializes in bringing music to retirement communities. Now in Boston, he collaborates with Cantor Lois Welber at celebrations and synagogue services and performing in retirement, retirement communities around the country, as well as more locally in Hebrew senior life centers and Chelsea Jewish nursing homes. He says, I love to share my music with others and experience their joy. Let's experience some of that joy now. So these are my original piano compositions from my CD called The Awakening. The first one has the title of my CD and it's about spiritually going from one place to another in your life. So these next two songs are very, I guess, nostalgic for me. One is The Hills of Sonoma County, and it is about, I'm originally from the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, there's some beautiful green hills right over the um, Bay Bridge, Marin County. They're green, and I used to spend time up there with my friends. So that's what the first tune is about the Sonoma Hills. And the second one, picture a cowboy at the end of his, you know, um, getting his cattle in. He's up there in the mountains. It's getting to be dark. And he thinks of his loved ones. And he's lonely. So that's called Cowboy's Lament.
These are four songs of my Jewish heritage. Kabbalah Shabbat, Jerusalem, and a hora or a dance in Hebrew, and song for the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah.
my rendition of the Hora, a Jewish dance, Ari's word.
So the first of these three songs is called Serendipity. I was out kayaking in the San Francisco Bay Area by myself, and the moon had just come up, and it was so beautiful, and that was what I thought was serendipity. Then I'm going to do Rush Hour, a song dedicated to those terrible traffic jams we all have. And finally, I'm going to do a song called Finding the Love You Need.
So these next two tunes are um, uh, very nostalgic, I would say. The first one, I wrote a song for a six-year-old named Claire so that she could dance to it. Song for Claire. And then I'm following it with the waltz, Ari's waltz. called The Yearning. The second one is called The Greatest Fear of All. 
And the last one I wrote in memory of my father, Bert Lurie, and it's a love song of my memory with him.
The next song I want to play is called The Wandering Neshama. Neshama in Hebrew means soul. Oh my gosh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Ari. And thank you so much for joining us. We'd like to thank our sponsors as well. Amy Lamb, Shelley Payson, Robin Rubendunz, Susan Melkin, Helen Fremont, Caroline Scott, Philip Thibault, Lois Welber, Anita Bangliers, Marianne Donise Goldman, Galena Sekis, Anonymous, Diane Song, and the Massachusetts Cultural Council Festival and Projects Grants, and grants from the Dracut, Concord, North Reading, Wilmington, Westford Cultural Councils, local angel agencies, which are sponsored by the Massachusetts Cultural Council, a state agency. For more information about our programs, or to be a sponsor, please email us at dragatarts at gmail.com or visit our website, dragatarts.com. You can see this fabulous performance again, as well as all of our programs at the Dragat Arts YouTube channel. That's youtube.com backslash at dragatarts.com.